Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we'll be talking about a black hole in our solar system. Now you might be thinking to yourself, there's no black hole in our solar system. If there was, we'd probably know about it. But this is more of a theoretical question. What would essentially happen if a black hole would enter our solar system? First of all, we just want to talk about the chances of a black hole entering our solar system. To be honest though, it's more likely for the Earth to be swallowed up by a black hole than rather winning the lottery 10 times in a row. But it is less likely than being struck by lightning. In fact, the odds of a black hole devouring our planet are estimated to be 1 in 1 trillion. So there are basically two types of black holes in our universe. The first is a supermassive black hole, and these are basically found in the centre of galaxies. And the only time when they'll possibly pose a threat to us is when our galaxy collides with another galaxy like the Andromeda Galaxy, in probably a few billion years. The other type of black holes are interstellar black holes. These form from large stars that go supernova, and these type of black holes can be a dozen or so miles across. The closest known black hole to us is one called Cygnus X1, and it's about 6,000 light years away, so in cosmic terms it's quite close, and it measures approximately 27 miles in diameter. So even though it's very massive, it is very small. If a black hole like Cygnus X1 were to stray near our solar system, basically within a light year or so, its gravity would cause chaos. The orbits of the outer planets and the comets would be significantly altered, and this in turn would threaten the orbits of the inner planets and even the Sun. However, if you're talking about the black hole passing directly through the solar system, then it gets incredibly worse, to a point that the solar system might not be around. At a distance of 100,000 times greater than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the black hole would pass through the Oort cloud. This is basically a sphere around the Sun of basically icy rocks that measure a diameter of about one light year. It's possible that this would send a huge number of comets hurtling inwards towards Earth and the other planets. Aside from the influx of comets, you wouldn't actually notice that there was a black hole at the edge of the solar system. As the black hole made its way into the solar system, it would be near enough invisible to us, aside from a slight gravitational lensing effect on the distant stars in the background. The black hole would only be noticeable until it starts tearing gas off the outer planets, and you would see a notable accretion disk. This is a region of super hot heated gas and dust that forms around the black hole. And then finally, the power of the black hole would be very visible to us on Earth. Despite the black hole being several times smaller than any other planet, its mass would be several times greater than anything in our solar system. Therefore, any planet that is unfortunate enough to be caught in its path would be devoured, even those as large as Jupiter. The gas would simply be stripped off and fall into an orbit around the black hole. By the time the black hole actually reached the asteroid belt, between Mars and Jupiter, things would look pretty bleak for us. The intense gravitational pull of the black hole would tear our planet to pieces, causing devastating earthquakes and super volcanoes, the likes that humanity has never witnessed before. Upon reaching the Earth's orbit, our planet would be all but doomed, with Mercury and Venus following suit and the final battle would be between the black hole and the sun, but this fight will be quite one-sided. A gravitational tug of war will take place, and depending on the initial mass of the black hole, there is a chance that the sun could actually survive in some shape or form. Unfortunately, the most likely scenario is that it ends up like the planets. The sun will be ripped apart and joins the planet in a swirling mass of superheated dust and gas, roaring around the accretion disk of the black hole. The accretion disk would extend hundreds of thousands or perhaps millions of miles from the relatively tiny black hole at its centre. This would replace our solar system with a circular inferno of the dead planets and our home star. It's quite fortunate then that the likelihood of this whole situation occurring is very, very minimal. But if you do win the lottery 10 times in a row, please contact me so I can get ready for the black hole's destruction.
So I hope that's given you a great insight into if a black hole came into our solar system. It doesn't quite end well, does it? Unless you win the lottery 10 times in a row, then you probably just buy a spaceship and go to Alpha Centauri. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.